So, Raul, thanks for your presentation today. Um, now we're going to do something like I do on my show called Fortune Cookie Friday, where there is a fortune cookie where agile accountants put a message in the cookie, and we have to take what's the message in the cookie and apply it to your presentation. So I do this. Front of All me. right. So we got the cookie. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to read you the message, and then we go from there. All right. Here's your message. Oh, this be interesting. Good news will be coming from the office. So you got we had adapt what's in this message. Good news will be coming from the office to what you presented as a, as an enterprise coach. <laughs> All right. Well, my my two cents on that, uh, you know, is the the good news as a coach who's coaching towards something like enterprise agility is that. Um, there's so many parts to it that you can work on, that you can influence, um, that, you know, you're never sort of stuck short of ideas, right? So, yeah. as I mentioned with uh, the, the needs-oriented model of coaching, right, there are different quadrants, different aspects of, of coaching that you can work on as, as an individual uh, to enable something like agility to improve your business outcomes and to solve problems, um, so to me, that's always the good news, right? When there is um, constantly uh, things that you can learn about, things that you can apply and experiment with in your organization to see what fits. Um, and if you're in such a context where you have this freedom, take advantage of it, right? I encourage other coaches listening um, to not just really get stuck in a certain way of doing things. I think we all fall into that pattern from time to time, but it's, uh, I think, equally important to. Um, challenge yourself with new ideas um, by attending conferences like the Agile Online Summit yeah. and learning about new topics and um, exposing yourself to different parts of the business where you might not have um, so much information about. So that is the good news, right? There's a lot of different parts, different information, different aspects of coaching out there um, yeah. where you can learn up uh, and read up on and really use it to take your coaching to the next level. Yeah, and I'll add my, my, my twist on with your topic was, and I'll add something just from an enterprise coaching perspective, don't always be the bearer of bad tidings from the main, from the enterprise office, right? Be there, bear some good news, like how good they are. I like taking when I see successes in various teams in the org enterprise and use them to show good stuff and have them present. So I like doing it also where I'm not always like, oh, your velocity is terrible. But no, I don't mm. do it. It's like, but have the good news come up too. Like, hey, this team did really great. And here's what they did. And they introduced those people, right? So Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Raul. It was great having you on. And uh, stay in contact. We'll see you soon. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me. Talk to you later. All right. Thanks. Bye.